Good morning my loves and welcome back to a brand new video. I am looking rather different this morning. I actually have my hair and makeup done which is actually a very rare occurrence since I've been pregnant just because my skin has been absolutely awful. Um, but I ordered some new cream um, which I used to get from the doctors on prescription um, but you can now just buy it over the counter and it's um, this one, it's double base um, and it's been working amazing on my skin so I thought today that I'd actually make the effort and do my makeup, do my hair and get dressed. Um, we are in the final stretch of pregnancy. It seems absolutely crazy to say that. Um, I feel like this pregnancy has gone so quick and I know I haven't really documented the journey as much as I thought it was going to be but I really didn't expect to really struggle during my second trimester. Um, hitting my third, um, the beginning was tough of my third trimester but now like hitting like from about 28 weeks I've been feeling great. Um, I haven't really had many aches and pains in my belly anymore which is great um you know touch wood um but yeah we are on week 31 almost um you kind of can't really see her under here but she is there all tucked up nicely um but yeah so today i thought i'd vlog i again i'm not really doing much um i have to go out and get some easter bits for the girls um, because obviously Easter's coming up soon, um, and I am meeting my sister for a socially distanced coffee because we are allowed to meet one person from another household, um, for coffee. So I'm gonna do that to get myself out of the house, just because I've been feeling and struggling quite a lot emotionally, uh, with being stuck in and doing the same stuff day in day out. So that's sort of the plan for today. Um, I do have to tidy up this morning. I do actually have to be out of the house in about an hour. Sorry, excuse the lighting. Um, I think it's actually less than an hour now. Um, and I've just got some washing up and some tidying up to do, which I've got to do this morning. And then, yeah, I'm going to see how much I can get vlogged. A couple of bits to update you guys on regards to pregnancy and home. Um... And yeah, I am so glad to be back. Obviously, I did say that I'd only be picking up the camera when I felt good and when I felt okay. Um, and today is one of those days. So yeah, we're going to be vlogging today. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to get tidied because obviously, I, like I said, I have to be at the house in about half an hour to an hour. Um, so I'm going to just get some little bits tidied up and then... Yeah, we'll head out and I'll bring you guys with So, me. I have just got back from um, a social distance coffee with my sister. I didn't film anything whilst I was out. Um, just because it was quite busy considering we're in a lockdown. And it was just nice to spend some time with my sister. Um, I did pop into the pound shop and I did also pop into Tesco's um, to go get some Easter bits for... Um, summer and obviously my niece so I'm going to show you what I picked up so the first thing that I actually picked up was actually from Tesco's and is actually for James um, and I got him a dairy milk easter egg um, this originally should have been five pounds but if you have a club card then it was only 3.95 which I think was pretty good considering like the size of this one like it's bigger than my head um, I feel like they've gone, like, massively OTT with Easter eggs nowadays. Like, there's Easter eggs that you can get for, like, £15. It's like, who would want to spend that much money on an Easter egg, basically? But, yeah, I picked up that. And then I popped into the pound shop and I got some bits for the girls. So I picked up two of these really sweet little baskets. I did want to get two pink ones, but they didn't have one. So I've got one green and one pink. So I've got them both, one of them each. And then to go inside them for Easter, I have picked up for them 
two of these little bunnies to go in the basket. I got them both the same so that they cannot argue over who's got what and whose is whose. So they've both got a bunny each. Um, I then picked them both up some little chocolate eggs. Uh, they have pink and blue ones. I got the pink ones and they've just got little chicks on. They are just little um, chocolate balls, eggs, whatever you want to call them. And then I picked up a movie of bum. Um, I then just picked up this bag of sort of mixed little chocolates that have got sheep, chips and a bunny. Um, and then I'll just split them between both of the little baskets as well. So that is them sorted for Easter. Um, again, um, I don't go OTT for Easter. So that is all I picked up. I did actually then pick up some Doritos from the pound shop because I've been absolutely loving them. And then I did pick up some dinner as well, which I've already eaten. Um, I picked up a salad and I had some salt and vinegar, snacker jacks and a Sprite because lemonade or Sprite is literally like my go-to drink at the moment during pregnancy. And I did treat myself to some cookies as well um, because I think I've said before, obviously during this pregnancy, I am trying my best to eat a balanced diet it may not always be good but i'm trying to obviously um eat healthy meals i still have like summer world meals and stuff um so yeah i am still trying to do that but sometimes you just got to give in to the cravings so that was everything that i picked up when i went out i have also got a couple of videos coming uh i don't know whether it be before this vlog or after it's obviously baby's hospital bag and obviously my hospital bag obviously there'll be two separate videos um but i just wanted to know whether you guys wanted me to obviously upload one of them and then separate it with something else um and then upload the other one or whether you wouldn't mind having them back to back um i am trying to get back into the swing of things i did state in my last video that obviously i was only going to upload when I felt good and when I felt better um because pregnancy is like especially my second trimester it was hard um I found it very very difficult and like the first sort of week into the third trimester it was quite hard for me um but I for somewhat reason touch wood um I actually feel really good and I've got tons of energy and yeah so I want to take the opportunity that when I have this energy to get things filmed and obviously post up on social media and things like that um so yeah let me know what you guys think and obviously let me know what other videos you want to see and a lot of you have been asking a couple of questions about other things so um any questions that you want to know about pregnancy um anything to do with my pregnancy journey birth plans hospital bags anything then obviously do leave your questions down below and i'll be happy to answer them obviously if i get enough then i'll do another q a um but yeah i'm feeling really really good um like i said i think i stated at the beginning of this vlog that i am now at 31 weeks um or well, just over now and we don't have long left um we really don't have long left and we are ready we are ready for her arrival if she decides to arrive at any point um obviously not too early um but we are we are ready and prepared if she does decide to come uh, we did have a little bit of a scare at the beginning of this week um she decided to stop moving not fully um so obviously when you hit 28 weeks is when they say to obviously keep an eye on movements obviously any time before they still want to check uh but 28 weeks onwards is where they really really do like you to um keep an eye on obviously the patterns of movements 
too many movements, not enough movement. So obviously every baby has a different pattern. Uh, some babies may not move at all during the day and all through the night they're up and they're moving. Others maybe all day and nothing all night. Um, some have like intervals obviously and for me uh, baby girl tends to like to have a good old party in the morning letting me know that she's up and awake and she's ready for me to feed her um, and then she'll sort of settle down obviously I can still feel her there um, but it's not like anything crazy and then normally around about dinner time after I've eaten she then goes absolutely nuts again and then goes slightly quieter again and then obviously during the evening when I'm like fully relaxed and just chilling out again she goes absolutely nuts and um one day last week she decided that she didn't want to let me know that she was absolutely fine um so obviously she does have these tendencies to tuck herself right behind my placenta so for those of you that don't know I have an anterior placenta which is my placenta at the front um so sometimes you can't feel movement but you can see movement as baby gets bigger um but I couldn't see I couldn't feel anything um she had decided to tuck herself right down again um and the last time she done that was just when I hit over 28 weeks um and they had to just do a scan then just to make sure she was all right and that's when we found out that she was head down and she was all scrunched up uh tucked up behind and she was perfectly fine um and then obviously like I was saying um just after I hit 30 weeks uh she decided to not move at all like nothing uh so obviously I went in just to get checked she was absolutely fine her heart rate kept spiking up and down um it would go really really high and then drop down really really low um so they just wanted to keep an eye on that and they were happy that when it did spike it came back down quite quickly um and stayed at a consistent sort of heart rate and again when it dropped um it did go back up to a steady heart rate. So they weren't too um, concerned about that. Uh, but she has been keeping us on our toes for sure. Um, this pregnancy has definitely been very, very different. I literally had no issues during my pregnancy with Summer when I was pregnant with her. And yes, I know I was a lot younger. And this pregnancy, I have been in and out for different things. I've had aches and pains in places I didn't think I could have them. I had pains in places that I didn't even ever think was possible. Um, I had pains in places that I never had pains when I was pregnant with Summer. Like it was just all so completely different, but she's doing well, I'm doing well. And there isn't long left. Um, I'm so super excited. Um, but yeah, we are we are ready for her. The only thing I'm gonna have to get my bum up because I am getting a very 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 dead bum on the floor. Yeah, we are ready for her. Um, we just got a couple of bits and pieces to sort out. Um, got some bits in the living room that need to be put in their places. So obviously, we got her Moses basket, which was kindly gifted by my sister for us to actually borrow um, because we didn't see the point of buying a new one. So. We're borrowing that and then obviously my sister will have that back. Um, all this needs to be sorted and put in its place. Obviously, there's sterilisers and bottles and stuff. That's her hospital bag, but I'm not going to go too much into detail about that because there will be a video coming. So that all needs sorting and putting its and place. And then, excuse the state of my bedroom. I haven't actually sorted it yet. Um, but I'm going to show you the current state of the bedroom um i do have some organizing to do in here um and we are still waiting to get a wardrobe um but i literally refuse to pay ikea um delivery prices like i didn't actually believe how oh my makeup is smudged i couldn't believe how expensive delivery was for ikea and the wardrobe that we seen was absolutely perfect it was only £50, but yet delivery was 40 and I was like, I'm not paying paying like nearly £100 for a flipping wardrobe, basically. So 
hopefully soon when they reopen we will be able to like click and collect or something and get it in the car so that yeah we don't have to wait for delivery um but i'm going to stop rambling i'm going to show you sort of her area at the moment um i've just got bits absolutely everywhere so <laughs> this is literally the current state of her cot so we have picked up the car seat we actually picked that up a couple of weeks ago from my mum's um just to be on the safe side so for those of you that don't know summer was actually a premature baby she came five weeks and they did tell me just to prepare just in case it's not guaranteed that i will have a premature labor again but um they did say to prepare so we now have the car seat um we have stuff that needs hanging up here so all this needs to go in the wardrobe how sweet is this oh my god like i'm so in love with this absolutely love this um this is actually from matalan um and i think it was in the sale uh but this is going to be perfect for like the summertime um because she's going to be born like end of spring beginning of summer but yeah all this sort of needs hanging up it's stuff that can't really be put away like how sweet are these i think james's mum bought us these um those leggings and there's matching tops like i'm just so excited and then she's got a nice little uh fleecy coat so i was iffing and ahhing about this but she literally had like no jackets whatsoever and i was thinking there is some days in the summer where it's actually really rubbish weather in the uk as you guys are aware um if you are in the uk so i was like it'd be handy just to have something and then we just picked up a couple of other little bits that were like three to six months just for um when she gets a little bit bigger um and we are due to go on holiday as well which i'll update you on that at some point i have her change bag in there also which yeah it's just there my hospital bag which again i'm not going to go into too much detail right now because again there'll be a video coming um so yeah all these bits like need hanging up um we've got some swaddles here as well um i got these swaddles from amazon i think i think they're like 17 pound for three uh but sh she's not going to be able to use this straight away depending on how big she is but i'm glad i got some um and then i'm going to show you what's in here so obviously with people like family uh they haven't really been able to share my pregnancy with me this time around um and obviously trying to buy things online has just been absolutely crazy because there has just been a massive boom in people getting pregnant um even the hospital have said there's going to be an absolute huge boom of newborn babies uh over the next coming months because everyone's just got pregnant so everyone's been buying online and I was really struggling to find some newborn hats to obviously pack in the hospital bag because I didn't have any they were all like either naught to three which I think is going to be absolutely huge like I haven't packed anything that's naught to three um just because obviously that's normally new like too big so um we needed some newborn hats and my nan actually found some from Tesco so they've been packed so you'll probably see them in the baby's hospital bag um and she so basically she sent a little parcel obviously i've opened it uh all wrapped really cute there was a little letter in there because they live they don't actually live that far from me but obviously because we can't see them it has been an awfully long time um so she packed some hats there was also this one here with some little ears on but again i think this one's going to be a little bit too big um, so I haven't obviously packed that one, but they were the ones that I was looking for because when I was looking, they literally had like sun hats. And obviously we don't want sun hats just yet. We literally just wanted some for her in the hospital and obviously for the coming days when she comes home. And then also in the little package that she, my nan had sent, were these absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited. Like I cannot wait for her to, to wear these they're literally going to be perfect for the for the summertime honestly like they are so 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 she sweet actually knitted these by hand obviously how else do you knit uh but it's this gorgeous the camera's really not picking up the like true color of these but this is like a gorgeous like bright pink 
um, with all this detailing on as well. This one's a little bit smaller than this one. And then this one's like a really, really bright orange. This kind of looks like a burnt orange on the camera. Um, but it is actually like a really bright orange. How cute are these little buttons? And again, like the detailing on them is just so lovely. Um, and I'm so super grateful. They're just so sweet. I'm excited to um, put her in those when she's big enough. But yeah, I've got a lot of sorting out to do. Like a lot of people said to me, oh, you'll hit like the nesting stage and you'll want to get things sorted and this, that and the other. And part of me does. And the other times I literally just don't have, like, I've got the energy, but it's just like the motivation to do it. Because I'm just like, I've got nowhere to put things at the moment. So obviously once we've got a wardrobe, um, I'll be able to hang things up in the correct places because I think that's the only thing that's really bothering me at the minute is obviously a wardrobe and I'm being so picky with like what wardrobe I want it's got to be white um because obviously our bedroom furniture is obviously white now, apart from that we are pretty much almost sorted it's just literally just getting the rooms sorted and ready um which is amazing um but yeah so we are pretty much sorted and ready for her to come in regards to like having everything that we need another like really exciting um update is we are having our kitchen refurbed oh um i am so excited so i don't know whether i filmed it at some point but during the original lockdown last year we decided to wrap our kitchen cupboards and our sides and obviously change the handles and stuff um because the if i can find pictures i will put pictures up somewhere um because the sides were just awful like the kitchen cupboards were just awful like the whole kitchen is just i i like i hated the kitchen and we obviously needed something to do in lockdown so we decided to obviously wrap and paint the kitchen white because it was like a really off like purpley colour like movie yeah it just wasn't very nice um and they sent a letter through uh to say that they're coming out this week so Thursday I believe which will be the 25th and they're coming up to measure um the kitchen sides uh and just measure the kitchen and they are going to redesign the kitchen. We haven't quite decided how we want to have it. Obviously the sink staying in the same place and obviously the cooker. Uh, but there's obviously a couple of questions that I need to ask. I've got to figure out a way that I want the kitchen to be. Um, because obviously the fridge is here and I hate it being here. I'd rather have like some extra kitchen sides there and have the fridge actually tucked away, if that makes sense um but yeah so i'm excited to share that whole process um i don't know when it's going to get done but obviously like i said i know that they're coming out this week could take up to six months we're having a new kitchen and i get to pick all the kitchen sides like what we want and cupboards and stuff so i'm so excited for that so uh we are thinking obviously about changing the flooring in here as well because obviously this has been down since i moved in um but we've always been in two minds about it because obviously we are wanting to move we are looking to move um it's just so cramped in here i don't want to be in a flat anymore um i didn't expect that i'd be here that long and i thought oh, i'd only be here a year and then we'll be able to move but it's been a lot longer than that obviously lockdown happened and yeah it was just a crazy crazy year um so we are looking to move now obviously with baby girl on the way uh we are looking for a three-bed house um because it'd be nice for the girls to have their own bedrooms and spaces especially for summer um i don't deem that it's fair to just shove baby in her room so obviously for now we're fine we're happy but obviously we don't know how long it's going to take for us to move so obviously we were in two minds of whether we want to sort of do small changes um so that it's still nice for us to look at and to feel like home or we just leave it and wait it's just yeah so we're getting a new kitchen oh so 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 excited well, yeah i think that's pretty much all the all the updates i feel like i've completely rambled on um 
yeah i mean i know i know my vlogs are not that 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 fun at the moment they're just full of like baby stuff and updates but that is literally all i can do right now because we cannot go anywhere um obviously we're still in a lockdown we're coming out slowly um from the 29th we are finally allowed to meet up to six people outdoors so obviously with the weather getting a bit i say a bit nicer it is still on and off um but we will be able to get out a bit more which is going to help me and being in the final stretch of pregnancy as well um i may get to see some people um just to share the end of my pregnancy because no one's got to to experience it um so not that i'm complaining because i know there's people that have gone through pregnancy and even having their newborn babies and not being able to see anyone so i am grateful that i am able to hopefully do that but yeah it'll be nice hopefully um and yeah i just i feel like it's been a long time since i last updated you guys i feel like i haven't really documented my journey as much as i said i was going to but things have just hit differently i thought i was going to go through this pregnancy like yes feeling great growing you know but it just hasn't been like that so i am back and i am excited to be filming again uh whilst i'm feeling good uh there'll be videos coming like i said um this week and next week i've got a couple already done and filmed for you guys obviously do let me know down below whether you like what videos you want to see um i know not everyone likes to see pregnancy videos all the time i understand that so obviously for you guys that don't really care about the whole pregnancy journey then obviously do let me know what you guys want to see like i still want to try and keep my normal content still up for you guys that don't or aren't really interested in like pregnancy journeys and things like that so obviously do let me know and i will try my best i am trying guys and hopefully we will be going on holiday so i will hopefully be filming that as well it'll be our first holiday as a family of four um which is crazy but obviously it just depends on the circumstances we're staying in this country we are not going abroad and probably won't for a while um until we deem that it's safe i know vaccines are rolling out and stuff but we still want to keep ourselves safe but yeah i think i'm just going to stop rambling now i think i've literally updated you on pretty much everything that i've wanted to update you on um i'm not sure how long this vlog is i'm not sure how fun this vlog is going to be either um but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here now i do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do click the thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed and also if you want to keep up with extra pregnancy updates um and content and stuff then do follow my instagram as well i'll link it down here on the screen somewhere um and other than that i will see you in a brand new video very very soon bye